Hi, my name is David Gingrich, and I'm here to introduce the newest product in our Global Pro Series line of locks, which is our Ultra E electronic keyless entry lock. Uh, when you receive your lock, you open up the box. The, what it entails is first you will see you get a, a quick start guide that runs you through uh, the installation process, which is on this side right here. Um, this got three different versions of uh, the instructions in a couple different languages for your convenience. Uh, the other side has your factory key code right here, and it also has a spot for your uh, user code, which you will be able to reprogram, and I'll show you how to do here in a little bit. On the one side, there is a uh, summary of the different beeps that uh, for um, the lock, the unlock, and if there is any kind of an error, it walks you through all of that. Uh, so I'll put that aside. Next, you will see that you have your hardware pack. Uh, you'll get your strike plate, door edge cover, and all the appropriate screws to install your lock. So when you pull out your lock, the first thing that you're gonna notice uh, is the size of the lock. We redesigned the face of this lock to have this full-size handle. Uh, it gives you an easier grip and a modern uh, automotive style feel. It requires a uh, 1C123 battery, which is not included. There is a battery box right on the back side of it right here that uh, takes a number two Phillips screwdriver. The next thing uh, that you'll see, uh, we actually integrated the deadbolt of our lock into the interior part of the uh, working of our lock. So um, first you'll see the, the plunger works the exact same. When you throw your lock, all it does is since it's integrated, it turns your plunger into the deadbolt now. Uh, what this does is uh, creates a longer battery life because you're not actually throwing your deadbolt so there is less moving components. Um, and also when there is um, any kind of drag going into the door extrusion, uh, you won't have to worry about that putting any extra strain on your battery. Um, next, uh, there is a uh, foam gasket on the inside here that gives you a watertight seal. Um, this lock can be key to like to any of the Global Pro Series locks, so it can be key to like to any of the G301 through G390, which you can have done at uh, your local dealership. Uh, even though this lock uh, does seem like it is a little bit bigger, uh, it fits into the exact same size as the standard travel trailer locks such as Bauer, Trimark, FIC, and the standard Global Link locks. The keypad is LED. First touch, it illuminates, but you'll see that it has five different keys and you can reprogram a four digit code into this lock using that factory code. Uh, the factory code cannot be changed, but you can reprogram your user code as many times as you like. Uh, to run a lock on this, you will hold down the one, two, three, four keypad for one to two seconds. You'll hear the same two beep noise letting you know that you have successfully locked it. To unlock the lock, um, on this one was uh, 4432. So first you will touch any one of the keys to illuminate the keypad that basically wakes it up. Then you will enter your code, 4432. You will hear that two beep, and that tells you that you have a successful unlock. Now I'll be uh, walking you through how to reprogram our Ultra E lock. Uh, first, you will need to uh, hold down the 09 button for two seconds. After that, you hear that two beats. That tells you that it's in reprogram mode. Uh, after you do that, you will need to enter in your factory key code or your current user key code. Uh, you'll hear those two beeps, which let you know that you're ready to reprogram. So now you can redo any code that you like. You'll hear those three beeps, which let you know you need to do it one more time. So now you hear those next three beeps, and that means that you have successfully reprogrammed this lock. So now you wait for the keypad to turn off, then you can run your lock, and then uh, again, wake your keypad up. The new code has been programmed into your lock. We also have a manual version of this lock available too. It's the exact same kind of lock, uh, just does not have this keypad. Uh, you can be key to like to any Global Pro Series lock as well. Now that we've went through all of the basic features and functions of the lock, uh, why don't we go out and I'll show you how to do the easy installation. Next, we'll be uh, doing a walkthrough on how to replace your standard travel tra trailer door lock with one of our Ultra E Pro locks. Uh, so as you'll see, this is one of the Global Link standard travel trailer locks. Uh, you just open it up, you do the exact same way you would uh, from our other installation videos. Uh, you got your two screws on the door edge cover here, and then the four screws on the inside that you'll remove. 
I'll do that now. So it comes out in two pieces here. Uh, you can see here, this is the standard travel trailer door lock, so it's got the same exact size cut up. Uh, make sure it's unplugged so it's in two pieces. Uh, you, when you pull this apart, you will see that on these, it does have these two plastic posts. Uh, those are mainly for shipping purposes. Uh, you would uh, probably wanna take these off. It makes it a little bit easier to line up when they're in there. So you will just insert the face of it first. Make sure not to uh, pinch your cord on the inside of the door so you want to snake that cord through here as well. This new door edge cover, you will want to orient so uh, there's a G on it right here. You want to make sure that's facing upside down and facing out. Install these screws, but uh, I wouldn't tighten these all the way until uh, you have everything lined up the way you want to when the door is installed. You will attach your, connect your two wires so that the uh, battery power, or the, the LED keypad has the, the power from the battery. Then on, in the inside here, there is a little crevice on the side over here where you will want to align your, uh, all of your wires so you don't have any kind of pinching on the inside here. So you'll just put it down on the side and kind of snake it back up inside. And then the hardest part is gonna be lining up this red knob to your deadbolt. When you're uh, tightening these screws, you wanna make sure not to over tighten. Sometimes it uh, makes it a little hard to lock it. So once you have all of your screws tightened, functions and you close it and you are good to go. Thank you for watching our introduction on our Ultra E-Lock. Uh, if you have any questions, um, our contact information is below. Be sure to uh, come check out our website, which is cpgbrands.com. Uh, there's links at the bottom here to all of our manual information uh, and our warranty information. Uh, if you get a chance, please uh, check out all of our other videos listed below. <music>